right, y'all. So, uh, third week of March. Last week we mowed, swathed our, our little uh, hay patch here to kind of get our hay started. And uh, I pulled the Optima. You can't really see it, but the Optima is hooked to the window right now. But I pulled the Optima off the feed wagon and swapped it with the small little Puma. And I bought this uh, this New Holland T7 from from uh, Case Dealer, Case New Holland Dealer. I kind of wanted two two tractors, two medium tractors to do stuff like pulling the baler. Um, the little tractor just wasn't, like I said last week, the little tractor just wasn't big enough to pull this baler. And I didn't want to have to unhook and hook the feed wagon all the time. So I did some testing and the little tractor will pull the feed wagon full of feed. As long as I don't go uphill. So just using it around the farm is perfect. So I pulled the Optima out and we're using that with farm equipment. But... Uh, like I said, it was kind of busy. I was unloading. Let me just show you. We we did we did we did we. I don't want to say expanded, but I made some changes. So I bought new tanker trailers. These are big tanker trailers. I bought a big milk one. I was just. I needed more capacity to haul from the dairies, the different dairies around here. And I was thinking, as I was talking to these guys, when I was picking up milk, we got to talking about, you know, slurry issues and manure issues and what do you do with yours? And I said, well, I've got my, I'm best to set up in, uh, fertilizer production and they're like well we talk to the Peters the Peters is a little small dairy they got about 200 maybe 200 cows and then my neighbors you can't they're over that way um I got 300 and some head and then a couple others but they said uh, well, we don't want to invest in that I said well what if I just come and take it all off your hands and they're like, well, what do you charge me? I said, nothing. I'll just come get you all your slurry. You call me when you're getting close to the bowl. I'll come take it out. And when your manure pile is full, let me know. And I'll come take those too. And they're like, okay. Why do you want to do that? I said, because I can use them in my fertilizer production. And they're like, ah. So, uh. We all negotiated a deal. I, I give them 25% less than what they can buy their fertilizer from the co-op. Now, this will probably piss off the co-op guys, but I'm going to go talk to the co-op guys. They Apparently, there's a production shortage of dry fertilizer. So, I'm going to go talk to them about give them a cut rate. I'll give them a wholesale price, same price they're paying from everybody else, and they don't have to buy, and I'll deliver. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of win-winning. I'm getting free materials, free materials, and I'm selling my dry fertilizer plus producing enough fertilizer for myself. So I think it's a win-win for everybody, and. Uh, I'm thinking I might be able to make a little bit of money on this. Maybe not a whole lot, but it would be something to do over the winter. And uh, that with my great production going on, I think uh, it would be a nice little side hustle um, for everything. So we're going to do some bailing. Do some bailing. I 
I'm doing square bales. I like round bales. The round bales are okay, but they're pain. You can't. They're hard to store. And I can sell square bales a lot easier than I can round bales. And uh, so yeah, so that's what's going on. Now, oh, I didn't. Let me show you my setup here real quick. So I got this big crone, the crone pack with the uh, stacker. So it stacks four bales and dumps them in stacks of four, which is a hell of a lot easier to pick up than single bales. So I got a fork sitting at the case dealer I got to go get that it will go on the end of a tractor uh, I'm gonna get a front loader put on the end of a front loader I uh, that little scoop tractor is great for running around the cleaning barns and stuff but uh, I need something a little bigger and I don't want to put an attacher on my tractors so I'm just going to buy, well we got the front loader up at the quarry, but I'd have to run it back and forth. I got my eye on a, a, a front loader, a couple of them, one's a case construction front loader and one's a Volvo, Volvo, I think I might get the Volvo, depending on the kind of deal I can get the guy. Right now I don't have the money for it, it's, I only got 300 and some thousand, so. We will uh, have to negotiate with the guy. I might be able to put a couple hundred down and then I think he wants 450 for it. Put a couple hundred down and after I sell another round of milk I'll pay him off. He knows I make what I make on my milk so. I think that's what I'm going to do. That'll allow me to stack. And it set me up, <coughs> sorry, set me up in the future also for uh, being able to sell hay long distance. I can uh, load a semi trailer and haul hay somewhere if I, somebody wants to buy some. So that's kind of our goal is to get enough hay to be able to use it here as well as uh, sell, have enough to sell, so <coughs> that's kind of where we're at right now. I like in this little new home, this is a nice little running tractor, it runs smooth. Get a lot of jerking in the steering. Very smooth steering. Very smooth steering. I think it's 313 horse. Good little medium utility tractor. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So I didn't have to windrow this, um, but it's a lot easier to windrow it than to go up and down, up and down, up and down with all the little bitty windrows. So by windrowing it, I can take three windrows from the swather <coughs> and put them into one big one that I can bail with. It makes it a lot easier to bail. And it, when it comes down to it, it covers, uses the same amount of fuel if I was having to go up and down, so it doesn't really matter. Cost-wise, it's not costing me any more to windrow it into, take three windrows and windrow them into one. It just makes it easier to bail. Bailing goes a lot faster.
So yeah, three stacks. I'm sorry. I, I think I told you four, 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 three bales per stack. I said four. Yeah, three bales per stack. So, yep. Yep, yep. It's kind of a pain on this hillside, but it works okay. I'm going to go this afternoon. I'm going to go mow my two other hay meadows there to the come on. Darn save game. <laughs> My hay meadows down in the south, about back where I used to live, and then go mow those. So I got most of my planting done, planted for March. Got some grass planted. Here in a couple of weeks, we'll be able to plant corn. And soybeans. Yeah, so we're taking a look at the calendar here. So, yeah, I'm going to plant corn, soybeans here in a couple of weeks. I planted some grass down on another location last week so got the plant big planter up there for the corn I'm putting new uh, new hoses from the seed box to the I don't know what your, the right name of them is but the chisels I call them chisels But it runs, it takes the seed from the seed box and runs it down to the chisel, drops it behind the chisel into the ground. Whatever they're called, technically called. But I'm putting new hoses in. The other ones were not in bad shape, but a couple of them were worn spots. And I just wanted to make sure I didn't have any breakdowns. See, you know, this is this, this is nice. This goes fast. I mean, I got one, two, three stacks, three stacks, and my little counter here says I got two on the deal on the trailer. So I'll have a third stack here shortly. As soon as this last bale finishes. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of excited uh, about the uh, fertilizer sideline business that I got going on. It's three local dairies. My dairy. The neighbor dairy down there, Peter's dairy way down at the other end, and then uh, the other neighbor over there is dairy. That's four dairies within six miles. And then I can spread out. There's another dairy uh, about 30 minutes from here. I go pick up milk with, from, and he's interested. The other guys aren't sure yet. One of them. One of them takes a slurry and he fertilizes his field with it, so he uh, and his manure. So he not really interested, but he said there might be times where he uh, doesn't want to have a big giant manure pile to sitting around. So you might call me and have me come pick some up. Same way with slurry. In the winter time, he doesn't want to have to store it. Mm. 
And I could have told him cow piss stinks, so, you know. It is what it is. Well, we're going to continue to bail. I will catch up to you guys later. Alrighty, well, I did buy front loader with the forks. Got a good deal on it. It was actually only 200000 I was a little off a little bit. I had a couple stacks that I didn't pick up with a trailer. So I just getting them. Picking them up here. And they were close to the barn, so picking them up, take them over here to the shed. That's what we got going on today, so far, this morning. We're going to move down and, uh, down there and start swatting here in a little bit. So, I'll see you later. Uh, a little bit before lunch, we're down here. I'm mowing, uh, mowing the waterway real quick. Just because it gets too overgrown. The water flow doesn't go well. So, I'm going to get it mowed, we'll rake it over into the field. Kind of rough, but it's not too bad. I got stuck once, I didn't think I was going to get out of there, I was going to go get the tractor. But, we made it through. Yeah, we are kind of rough, but it is what it is. I probably should have just used my little side mower, but I don't want to drag both of them down here. Now this area over here, I was going to plow it and plant hay grass in it, but uh, I found out it's some part of some conservation conservation thing, and I have to leave it natural grass. So. It's still grass, we'll mow it, we'll hay it. This might be a little rough. I don't know if I can get all the way down in there, but, oh, I'm stuck. Big rut. Big rut. I might, if we got time, I might come disc these up and plant hay grass in here. That way we can mow it better and still have the water drainage. Let's have to see what happens. See if I got the time. If 
we don't have the time we'll we'll do it sometime but if I plant the hay grass that then uh, all these weeds will won't be here because I'll I can herbicide it spray it I guess or I just let it go So, yeah, we will see what's what. This is going to be a tricky part because this is rough. go off the edge of that. Alright, so we're going to mow this way. Alright, well I got some business I got to take care of. I checked the tires and uh, we'll get started mowing and we'll see you later.